great exercise for senior adults to keep fit, to keep yourself from getting too lazy and bogged down and to be a recliner potato like me that's full of grits, bacon. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else awful. But at least I eat, you know. Uh, my head itches. Okay. That's normal, I think. My grandmother used to use uh, crocheting needles. And uh, she would have several she would wear in her hair. And I was like, uh, why do you wear the stick bows in your hair? And she said, I use them to scratch my head when it itches. <laughs> oh, man, that is funny. If the shoe fits... Wear it. When my back itches, I use this brush right here. <laughs> you know, and one day it uh, itched down in the middle, so what I did, I took a pair of my channel locks, which it might need about this much longer, and reached back there and scratched my back. Hey, whatever, you know. What I need to do is get me a piece of board about that long and put something on there that has a curve on the end. And maybe put uh, one of those, you know, those green scrub pads, you know, and put one of those on the end of it and go, oh, oh, that feels so good. Thank you. Oh, my God. You know, you do that when there's no one to scratch your back for you, you know. Okay, enough of the funny stuff. If I made anybody laugh, you know, laughter is medicine. And happiness is good medicine, and it's good for your health. Worrying too much is a killer. It's like cancer. It gradually eats you away when you just worry about stupid things. But I'll tell you some good things for seniors do for exercise. Don't watch these videos or buy stupid books. Lay on the floor, lift this leg up, and then take three breaths. Don't watch that junk. Look, you know, here's a, what keeps me in shape. Sometimes I get lax, lazy, I sit around too much, you know. And, um, you know, yeah, I work on my three cars. I also get my motorcycles out about once a week, muscle them around. That's good for my upper body. And, um, you know, things like that. But you know where I get the most physical work? It's good for the... The thigh muscles, the calf muscles, the arms. Weed eating. Weed eating. Now, I still use the pull crank start. But I'll tell you what, man. People, if you have arthritis or whatever, pass that up. Get you a battery-powered weed eater. Just get you a weed eater. Now, I know this doesn't apply to people that live in apartments. But for you... Um, Elderly, senior adults, if you own a house, get you a battery-powered weed eater. And just go outside and move it around. You know, weed eat around the edges, your foundation, around your hedge bushes, on the sides of your driveway, a sidewalk if you have one out by the curbside. You know that right there is better than that exercise in exercise books and exercise programs, that right there, will keep you fit. If you do that once a week or at least twice a month, that will keep you fit. And then be sure to drink water before you start the activity and after you complete it. Drink water. Water is a God's blessing. From Almighty God and Jesus Christ for uh, people. You know, that and to believe in Jesus Christ and to do good, you know, will give good help. And to care about yourself and to not do wrong. Each and every one of you know what is right and you know what is wrong. Because it says in the KG, KJV, edition, Holy Bible, King James Version, it says, all of you, the truth is born in you. That's why people have a conscience. You know what is right. You already know what is right. But that's a great exercise for seniors. 
Well, that's side you're not. I don't know. Okay. Just simply go outside. Go for a short walk. Or uh, pick up, like, uh, if it's not safe for you to go on a walk where you live. Just um, case out, like, a 30-foot area. And just walk back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. And this will keep you fit. You know, that's better for you than jogging. Because actually, jogging can harm the body. That has been medically discovered. And uh, is well known by, you know, exercise freaks. You know, as to where jogging was an issue that got out of hand in the 70s and 80s in my area in Houston, Texas. I mean, people got so ridiculous about that. They would wear these green, lime green shorts with tennis shoes and a half helmet that was white, made out of white. It got ridiculous, you know, and then they would wear t-shirts that said, uh, jogging for this, jogging for that, you know. You know, it finally burned itself out. You know, it was a trend like the hula hoop or roller skates. It burned itself out after a while. But but that's how I keep fit. Now, I'm still able to use the old rope pull weed eaters. And uh, I enjoy it. And the vibration of the weed eater itself, it makes me feel good. It helps my blood circulate, you know? You know, and stuff like that. So, but, you know, for you people, your upper body, especially women, you know, y'all don't have the upper body strength us men have. Get a battery powered, man. You know, now you can get those for a good price. And uh, just, just, just weed eat. And you can get to be a master at that to where you can weed eat around block bars if you know how to tilt them and maneuver. You know, and it's great exercise. It's great exercise. You're reaching out, you're using your arm, you're walking sideways some, then you step back, you walk forward. It's great exercise. Wow, what else can I think of here? Oh man. Da 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 tick click 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 click. Oh okay, I think I've got a burn fuse up here. I see what do I need to do for that? Eat more garlic and drink more milk and I die salt. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my video. God bless you. And always do what I would do. If I wouldn't do it, don't do it. No. You know I'm perfect, you know. Yeah, I don't hear anybody clapping. Clap. I said clap. Anyway, later, later. Bye for now. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Where's the stop button? Come back. Oh, there it is. Sorry, y'all.